In another four days, club football will return to the island as last season's Jamaica Premier League finalist Cavalier and Mount Pleasant FC square off in the Caribbean Club Championship at Sabina Park. It will be a debut season for Mount Pleasant in the regional competition and they are leaving no stone unturned. Winning the Jamaica Premier League was always on the to-do list for Mount Pleasant FC. But playing in competitions outside of the island was atop that list. In a season where they bemoaned losing the Premier League title to Cavalier, they went away taking solace from the fact that they would be getting another window to showcase their players. It's almost a new-look dressing room as a number of those players have since left the club and have been replaced by some familiar names from around the league. One of them is midfielder Alex Marshall. I love the setup, um, you know, being a part, I um, knew most of the players, so it was easy to settle in and, you know, coaching staff and everybody was, well, was really welcoming. So, yeah, I'm happy for that and happy to be here. And fans will be eager to see Marshall pulling the strings in the middle of the park as he did back in his early days. I don't want to live in the past, but, you know, that was a good year for me. And so hopefully I could, I could, I can um, go back to those, those days, um, you know. I... Striker Nicholas Nelson has also made the trip from Don Beholden, where he joined last season from Molines United. He comes with experience. It's not the first I'm playing CFU. I mean, I'm play, I played last season. Uh, when I was at Dumbledore, but new team now, so I have to focus on a new season in CFU. And despite the players' movement at the club, midfielder Kimoni Bailey says that will not affect them achieving their goal. Uh, it's a rounded team, you know what I mean? We have quality players here, so I don't think it's much of a pressure or anything like that. So we just have to gel with the team, like everyone that's here, because, you know, there's a lot of new players coming in and all that. So we just have to gel and get it right. Defender Shaquille Dyer also brings experience to the team. Well, it's nothing new, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Experience, you know, in the league, you know what I mean? It's a great feeling, you know what I mean, to know that the team qualified, you know, to play in outside of Jamaica, you know what I mean? So for me... It's going to be a good one, you know what I mean? They establish my talent and the growth that I've been doing, you know, the work. Yeah. And there are youngsters like Jamar Nolan who is coming straight out of the academy. It feels good, you know, I'm playing with a bigger set of boys and to develop my footballing skills. It's a great feeling. It was very hard at first because of different technical abilities from the older players, but now I'm very, I'm getting along better. Yeah. Coach Harold Thomas, who replaced Theodore Whitmore, has the task of guiding the club in their first major championship. We have, we have prepared really carefully for this, um, and we have great ambitions or intentions uh, moving forward. Mount Pleasant will kickstart their campaign against Cavalier next week Tuesday at Sabina Park, starting at 5 p.m.